college football, they snap it every 18 seconds. So not a lot of time to breathe on defense. King keeping it, trying to get a block from his running back. And De'Ara King gets a first. Really different. And it has really worked. A completion, first pass. More RPOs and simplifying the reads for King. First third down of the game. Great protection. King across the middle. And that pass was dropped. Not handled. That was right in. That ball gets knocked out. Does he have it right there? Yeah, I mean, you can see. So Boomer on the sideline can talk about it, soak it in. De'Eric King throws, got hit as he threw. Player, he'll come off the edge, but here they're going to drop eight. The throw across the middle, tipped up. I don't think that hit the turf. Edmiston, the linebacker, picks it off. Now the ball poked away. It'll go out of bounds. That. It was not a great throw. I, I did that Man. hit the turf? No, if it's indisputable video evidence that you need to... Cougars. Uh, it's just amazing how fast they operate. I mean, how fast Kendall Bryles signals it in. <laughs> They're ready to roll in no time. He wants the officials, the TV cameras, the chain gang all to be scrambling to get ready when the ball snaps. Car out of... TV are struggling to get back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, King throws, and that one with a penalty flag thrown, caught for a gain of turns into down the road. Kendall and his dad and so many others left that program. One year at Florida Atlantic with Lane Kiffin, now the offensive coordinator. <laughs> they just, just make it manageable with two straight run plays. Unbelievable. They're going to play fake, and King's going to keep it. Derek King will get the first down inside the 35. Kendall Bryles and change how they're doing things offensively. Been all about the air, but on that last three-play sequence, all about the ground and pound attack. King looking downfield toward the end zone. That one is a jump ball and a catch for a touch. Second and four, very balanced with the play selection so far. A play fake, open across the middle, a catch and a first down into Tulsa. The safeties from Tulsa right there, they were getting a little bit too close to the line of scrimmage and a lot of open space between them right there. Look at all that space that they can potentially occupy. Protection, King going deep, one-on-one -on -one in the end zone, it is incomplete. And then he took it to the outside on the safety, a really nice throw and a good job too by Bunch. Getting his hand in late field here, a play from now. Third and eight, King, play fake. Down the right sideline, Smith, the guy again, and another pass broken up. This against the guy who caught the touchdown last time Houston had the ball on fourth and eight. And he is going in that direction. Corbin, jump ball, he's got another one. No, knocked away incomplete. King, looks like he does want to get one more play off. Play fake. King now on the move, slings it out for a very short gain of a night. Derek King and the Cougars offense trying to get it going here. Pressure comes, the throw across the middle is complete for a first down, and there's number five, Marquez. Of knowing where he's at on the field and not allowing him a ton of space. It is true, explosive plays, you can define those in a lot of different ways. Swing pass, left side, and a big hit, the ball pops out. The ball is out. Houston punching it out and jumping on the ball. Whatever the opposite of high and tight is, that's what Hobbs had. <laughs> Low and loose. Fake handoff, King for a gain of three. Let's go down to Laura. And grabbing that jersey. The King now, under some pressure, throws another interception. Oh, whatever. But over on downs, fumbled interception. This high-scoring Houston offense, number one scoring offense in the country coming in. Derek King with the quick thing. You a little bit. They get him out on the perimeter, he bursts forward for a big game. First and ten. That play fake. King will throw. He waited and waited and delivered it right on the money. Packages, their run pass options. They can just tag anything. They have a run play called. All right, well, here, you run a corner. That's exactly what they did right there. One on one coverage, they hit it. A little shoulder fake. King going deep down the middle with some contact. Here comes the penalty flag. I think you can see that in the plays. Yeah, he does. And he signals in a double post right here. And a perfect play, honestly, against that defense. You have one on contact by the defender, you might have a touchdown. King trying to cut it up field. He gets swarmed and another flag thrown right in the funny just how quickly they can operate. There's the look sim signal. He looks back. Make sure you want to confirm the play. He gives him the green light. 
So on third and ten, maybe you're willing to sacrifice some of that tempo Absolutely. to get in exactly the right look. King. Pressure comes. He gets away. De'Ara King out into the open. Touchdown. Really careful when you pressure De'Ara King. You see the pressure. You add on by Zayvon Collins, number 23. That allows so much disappearance underneath. As well as you possibly can. King going to throw over the top, looking for his tight end incomplete. Well, hopefully Cooper Edmiston is okay. King, play fake, will swing it out. His tight end open. Turning it upfield, gang tackled. When is Houston going to get the ball to Marquez Stevenson? Number five, just hasn't been very involved in this game. A little shoulder fake, he's open here. They will swing it to him. Now can he make a couple defenders miss? Maybe he is not, he is on the sideline. Second down and nine. King will swing it out. Carr right along the sideline. Nice cut back middle, but they say he stepped out of bounds. He was working his way forward. And a good job checking it down right there. Being patient. They'll give up those underneath throws Tulsa will defensively. And you can see that right foot right out of bounds. On a it feels like a big play. Houston's defense was gassed. They were on the field for a long time. The Cougars offense is in danger of going three and out. King dancing around. King will throw and right over the defense. So we'll see it. You can see the releases and Derek King coming around. Well, he had gone Illegal out. touching. Offense number Much nine. Earlier. I mean, his tackle production has to be unbelievable. Play fake. King gets it to Stevenson. Tried to spin away from a tackle. <laughs> Did get an extra couple of yards. They trail by six, three and a half to go. Pressure comes from the edge. King goes down. Zavin Collins, the red. has been on the field the entire second half, so they have to manufacture a drive right here to give them a little blow. Well, they do have a first. Cougars will get lined up and snap it very quickly. King, that looks like a design quarterback run all the way. Here, King with his quickness to the outside. There goes King. 30, 20, 10, touchdown. That rest that the Houston defense is going to get. Oh boy. But they will take the field with only a two point deficit as compared to the nine that they had just a moment ago. All because of De'Eric King. Look at him turn the corner. Nobody run it. That's clearly what they're making a point of emphasis right now. They're going to run it with King, who gets <laughs> into to have a really special regular season and make that conference championship game really meaningful. Stevenson open, and that's not Stevenson. That's one of his teammates. Still Again, but Ed Oliver was taking up so much attention in the middle there. King flips the ball, caught. It is a touchdown. In college football, they have just undermined everything for the Golden Hurricane. Touchdown. Man, they they run their offense. They do what they do. They don't usually let the situation dictate, but probably wise. I think Coach Applewhite, Major Applewhite, the head coach of Houston, might have a bit of a say in and what type of tempo they're going to use. I mean, Major, who's a good offensive mind himself, has basically given this offense over to Bryles to put his system in play. This might be the spot, you're right, where he says, hey, I'm the head coach. We're going to work some clock here first. As well as they have forcing turnovers over the course of the last five years. Now King is going to scramble here, not going to throw. Has to stay in bounds. Don't want to get him hurt. Like no big deal it happened but I do have to put him on blast a little bit guys I think he was more scared of the pothole than I was I thought he was going to have a major freak out King keeps it and gets wrestled down it was good stuff and fun stuff